Hello everyone, welcome to Oracle Fusion HCM training. Today we will look into the approval configurations in the Oracle HCM. In any organization HR system, how it works is when the staff or the employee uh, needs some action like promotion, salary changes, adding a leave application. So it getting terminated, anything, it uh, flows certain steps, like certain, there would be certain process to follow and there are certain approvals. Only after the approval, this transaction can get into a next phase. So that's how it is going to be. Let's say, for example, if you would like to take a time off, you would need an approval for this. So you will write an email to your manager saying that you need a approval for a, the absence request. Then you send when the manager approves, you would go ahead and take a leave. Similar to way within the system, how would we configure this approval? In Oracle HCM, uh, uh, we'll see how it is to be navigated. There are two ways that we could navigate here. Uh, that is from the navigator uh, out here or from the tools under transaction console, we could do it or we could even go into setup and maintenance under global search. We could search for this specific task. Here I'll look for manage approval. Transaction. for human capital management. So if I get into this uh, task, uh, I would be able to see what is all the transaction summary of this. We would be able to see and the other task we see is the approval rules. Here the Oracle has already defined uh, each of the process, each of the transaction. And for each transaction, we would be able to define the rules. Or if we doesn't want them to go through the approvals, we can even bypass them. So there is uh, almost all the transaction that you could see here, like uh, adding a coworker, administering the salary, changing the location, changing the location. So, so here, if I look for location action, here we could see that these three, what we see is about the setup. This thing change location is about the assignment changes for a staff. If you would change a, a location, how would the approval goes through? If you see, if you go, if a HR admin likes to create a new location or delete the existing one if based on the effective dated location record or the edit location, it bypasses the approval. So this checkbox is where this three is active. It is like you are not allowing it to go through any approvals. You just bypass the approvals and make it uh, self-approved. Whereas change location, which is about the assignment changes for the staff, when you change the location for the staff, uh, if it is HR admin or if it is based on a manager who performed the transaction, there would be approval. And the approval rules are configured here. This uh, pen symbol what we have here, if I click on to this, we will get into the approval UI. So there we would be able to define uh, what uh, exact, how exactly we need the approval pattern. So here, if you see uh, what they have done is, it is more like a simple logic, if and else logic. Here, if then logic is available. If they have given the rule name. So it is a change location as a rule. If this is what it is, if there is a location change, then based on the application. So all these are uh, approvers, different kinds of approvers that we have. Application rule, based on the application rule, whatever the application rule the, they possess, they would get, receive the notification. And once they approve it, uh, it is to be manager, the staff manager uh, who has to approve it. It's This is how it is defined here. If it is approval groups, how we create an approval gr uh, groups, we will see in the same session today. Uh, so if I, uh, why do we have to define the approval groups is in case there is a requirement that I have the structure where the same structure of approval flow follows for multiple transaction. In such cases, I'll simply create a group and attach it by simply dragging this. So I would be able to do this. 
if you see this now i just dragged and it got attached if i have to delete it i'll have to select and then delete uh this ui is uh, extremely slow i would say so it takes a little time for us to for it to take effect okay we'll go ahead with the other kinds of approval this job level based line manager hierarchy and position hierarchy is something which is not generally uh, used and we will see in the following sessions uh, on how we would be able to use this representative is nothing but aor area of responsibility we defined uh, so based on whoever the role uh, the area of responsibility role the uh, users process based on that the approval goes it is not specific to any users whoever has that that uh, approval goes to them and um, self auto approve is nothing but bypassing the approval itself but uh, in case of you, you don't want to bypass the approvals rather you just want to select this saying that get self approved we would be able to do that as well and if you would want any specific users to approve it so we would be able to do it and we'll be able to select the multiple users as well it is not one user that we can select here so there is a different provision to select the approvers who approves who and uh, at what level they approve everything could be defined out here so if you see here uh, so this is where i would be able to select a new role if i click on this i would be able to add a new role now this is the role that we have it and uh, if i select this if i don't want the application rule to be followed i could click on delete uh, now we will uh, only discuss at the high level we will slowly move on to uh, uh, the uh, how to define the rule in our uh, upcoming sessions so this was about the approval ui uh, this is how the approval ui usually look and it is very simple logic that we define here if and then condition here also in the rule how the rule would has to be what the rule is actually what is the condition based on what condition who has to approve everything could be defined out here and testing the rule is also there's a place where we could test how it works now i'll just click on uh, cancel here so we'll see the other uh, transaction where we can define such approvals so let's say uh, staff getting promoted uh, promotion okay promotion Okay, there's a promote. So then this action, this is more like assignment changes again. If in case uh, you promote an, a staff, how should it for, flow? When who submits, what has to uh, happen? Or who has to receive the approval? Who has to receive the notification? It need not have to be uh, approval always. It could be just an information sent to certain users. That could also be configured here. So. Yeah. what action to be uh, taken by the approver also we could easily define it here in this promote and change position all this are uh, setup changes that we have got and uh, if we hire an employee should it bypass yes here in the system it is bypassed but if you have a specific requirement from your business saying that it need not have to be bypassed it has to go through certain approval so not everyone can be added in the system by hr admin the few user has to be notified at least when the system a uh, person is uh, uh, like hired so what we'll do we'll bypass this approvals in such cases we go to the edit rules or else we'll say only not an approval when there is a person hired or when there is a new hire they need not have to go through approval but in such cases it should be notified for certain users saying that there is this new hiring so that can also be done so here what i have done uh, i mean what is this rule has uh, is it is self approved so what i'll do i could also write another user i could add a user and then uh, we could say and drop an approved uh, okay so 
So I'll say few users needs to be notified. So I'll have to select it so that I could define this rule. Once only I select this rule, I would be able to see the pop up. So now that system is low, we will see all this uh, how to define the rules in our following session. Like I said, we'll again click on cancel and then see a few more uh, the absence uh, based on the absence. Let's say uh, we have different types of absences. And based on different types of absences, based on certain absences, we want to say that it has to go through approval. It has to go through multiple level of approval, like for maternity leave. So all this parenthood leaves, right? Uh, they may require multiple level of uh, approvals. It's, it's not something uh, usual, whereas as general leave, sick leave, uh, annual leave, personal leave all those are casually we take users would take so such cases in such uh, leave types it may not have to go through multiple levels just if manager approves that should be sufficient such could be the requirement that all could be defined out here so here uh, there isn't any rule specifically defined here they have just said if it is this uh, absence there isn't any uh, uh, anything defined here it's a demo instance but yeah we will be able to define it and we'll see how we can define uh, such rules in our following sessions and so this way termination all the transaction could be looked at here the termination if it happens if my hr terminates it need not have to go through any uh, approval it is getting bypassed now we'll see how to uh, create an approval groups we'll see how we can uh, get into a bpm work list mm, manage approval groups okay so it would take us to the new window where the approval groups would open. This UI is called BPM work list. So majorly the other UI we just saw, which was divided based on the transaction, it was not uh, there at the early stage of uh, Oracle. Uh, this, this is where every approval was de getting defined in this BPM work list. Now it is all moved there, but there are certain approval groups, all this that we still define it here. So to create an approval group, so I can, I'll click on static approval group here. We'll just see one approval, how to create this. We'll say Oracle learning group. Okay. If I click on plus here, so here I can write HCM. Okay, so let's see if there are any uses of HCM. Uh, HCM search. Okay, there's one user here. I'll select this. So there is a user or the approval group that we could select it. Now I have just selected user. I'll click on okay. So this is the first approval. Now I'll select one more user. Uh, I'll again say HCM or uh, Fusion. Okay, let's click on the search icon. Okay, let me select another user here. I have selected other random user here. I'll click on OK. So this is the second level of approver. If in case I would want this approver to come at the first level, I could do this. So if you see this, this is moving up and down is available. Or if I don't want, I could delete it. Or I could even edit the member. If I don't want this member, I want the different member. I could edit that. And if you would like to add a approval uh, group, if there's any existing approval group already, and if you would want to add them, we could do that. So there's one uh, Fusion HCM. So I'll click on OK. So that would be the third level of approval. So this way I would be able to define this and this approval group can be attached to any transaction. So uh, so this would be easier for us to create an approval groups and then attach it in the approval rules. So this is where if I click on save, this approval group would get saved. 
and this would be available in the other UI we just saw. So this was about the high level of how, how we create approval uh, or how we see approval configuration and how uh, it is available for the different transaction in Oracle HCM. Uh, we'll uh, meet again in the next session where we will see how we can um, define a simple rule in the approval for one of the transaction and see how it is actually going to work.